I don't think that a day goes by that he doesn't do something cute that's different than he did the day before. If I said good morning to you guys, I would be lying. I just realized I haven't videoed anything all day long. But work is done, headed home, got some random ass crap to do and then we will uh, we'll get to something else hopefully interesting tonight. Um, it was really sweet today that some of the guys here at the shop uh, watched the video and uh, uh, Mon's wife actually came up to me and gave me a hug and she was in tears. She's like, I'm so sorry and it's, it, it meant a lot. So, all right, so moving on, getting back home. Thank you guys for coming along. We are supposed to have one kick-ass storm tonight. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that branch? You guys almost got branched. In case you can't hear me, I said you guys almost got branched. Um, the wind is supposed to kick up. We're supposed to get gusts tonight of like 80 miles per hour on the coast and like 50 inland. Look, it's a tumble branch. <laughs> so, it should make for an interesting night. Uh, somebody in a bike just went by and they looked in the yard and they're like, Oh no, Frosty! So I have to go check, check my Frosty. So we've got a deer down and a Rudolph down. And this should be interesting tonight. Phoenix doesn't know I'm here yet, I don't think. Oh, oh power's gonna go out, guys. Oh, shoot. Uh oh. Ooh. Spooky. <gasps> Hi! Run away from daddy! Run away from daddy! Alright, guys, so if you're seeing this right now, then everything's okay. We're playing this cat and mouse game right now. I come over here to vlog him. What? Do you want to come this way? And he runs away. But I come back in here and I start vlogging like this. And he realizes that I'm not in the room anymore. And he's making a liar out of me. <laughs> anyway, the storm is getting really bad. So if you guys see this and obviously everything's... So see? Told you. Now, thank you. You're not making a liar out of me. Come here. Oh, now, now, okay, now he's making a liar out of me again. This is my baby, this is my boy. Have you met? A this is Phoenix. B. B. Where's the A? A. Good boy. H. H? B. B. He's getting better. He's starting to learn the characters and learn. Uh, it's just so exciting. Hi, Callie. Can you give me five? Give me the five. Give me five. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Phoenix, what are you doing? Phoenix. Hey. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> Kitties are not toys. Kitties are not toys. Wow. Meow. <laughs> wow, meow. <laughs> Phoenix and I, whoa, sorry guys. Phoenix and I were just looking out the window and watching the, the wind. Oh, oh. <clears throat> it's Mama. Mama! Did you survive? Yeah, the, uh, the lights in all downtown Lakewood are flickering on and off in the businesses. Wee, freaky. Wee. Cool. I was like, I'm getting out of here before people riot. <laughs> if the power goes out, we riot. Dude! Major frickin' sale! Vloggable? Well, yeah. Okay. Walgreens is like, alright, you know how Walgreens on Thursdays is my military discount day, right? Mm -hmm. Well, they're also having a sale. If you buy two toys, you get two free. Whoa. So, of equal, less of value, of course. Yeah, well, they're they're all marked with the little red sticker. Wow. <laughs> He's running on the treadmill. Don't worry, guys. It's not plugged in. There's no way that he can turn it on. So, <gasps> no mess. He cool. can drop. Well, don't let him see it. <laughs> Yay, a dump truck. A little remote control puppy. Aww. And this one. Oh, come on, no sad. <laughs> <laughs> 
So two of these were free. That's awesome. And the military discount on top of that. And the military discount on top of that. Nice. I whoop, saved whoop, 56%. Whoop, whoop. That is freaking awesome. Everybody else would have paid that. <laughs> I don't think that a day goes by that he doesn't do something cute that's different than he did the day before. That is just funny. That's funny. Okay, so I was going to start this and I was going to say that a couple different things need to happen in the next couple days. Lori Lee and I both have Christmas cards that we haven't done yet. We both have the tree that we haven't decorated yet. in the bathroom. I wasn't vlogging you. I wasn't vlogging you, baby. Vlogging me. Vlog this. Dirty boy. <laughs> and we still Dirty need to do the gingerbread daddy. haunted house. Ah! So, I really don't want to hear anybody say, Oh, I've got all my cards out. Or, I've done all my shopping. Or, I'm ready for Christmas. Because we're not. <laughs> not even close. Plus, we have to decorate. And we have to decorate for the birthday party. And we have oh, yeah. to uh, wrap presents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to, we have to wrap presents. Be like, yo, 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 birthday anyway? gift, present, present, wrap, wrap. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? I was, I was wrapping presents. So what kind of baby is born in December anyway? Um, this guy no, when the no, parents no, conceive no, on Daddy's no. birthday in March. You know, I think <laughs> whatever little cute little thing that you found him, the the hut or the the. Let's just make him a big blanket house or something. All right, so I have gotten Rudolph up. I've erected her. I've I'm trying to find a word that's not dirty. It's just not not working. Um, holy cow! Uh, Frosty popped a steak. <laughs> God, the not dirty thing is not working for me right now. All right, yep, that's it, Frosty. Lean back. Got the gangsta lean, lean back. Now to see what I can do about this, this buck. What the buck? Gosh, I know you guys can't see this, even if I lighten up the footage, which I'm not sure if you guys have noticed that. Do you notice when I lighten up the footage, sometimes I try to make it really apparent that I'm doing so, so that you guys don't sit back and think, oh, well that's too dark, I can't see it. It's like, oh, well he is trying. Unfortunately, I can't do anything for the audio. <laughs> All right, I'm now going to call this espresso machine weather. That's what it means when it's like too windy out to where it just, you can't hear anything that I'm saying because it just goes by the mic and it's like <sighs> So there you go, espresso machine weather. You guys remember that. At this moment in time, Sorry, we have not lost we have not lost power yet. So I'm trying to do this really quick. Sorry, I'm crooked. I'll sit like this. As of right now, we have not lost power, so that's a good thing. So let's get through cock. Let me get this video edited edited because I'm also working on Phoenix's two-year montage. And you guys remember um, I had a contest. I'm gonna go through and when I go through and do the montage, I'll pick a winner and you guys will get two shot glasses. So, awesome stuff. So, with no further ado, I'm just going to keep talking like this because it's really annoying. And in case you guys are wondering, yes, I hide it very well. It's, it's actually kind of, um, it's kind of sad because this is the time that I'd, I'd bring popcorn in at night. And, and, yeah, it's just, it's weird. <laughs> it's really weird. Matthew Rondell, I don't know if I've asked, have you ever tried Ellen's Heads Up game? I would like to see you and Lori Lee play... Maybe even Phoenix. Um, hmm. Are you talking about like, uh, like Ellen, like from like TV Ellen? We get, well, I, it doesn't matter. I haven't heard of it. No, I have not. And LJ Mike one two zero four and a bunch of others uh, told me what that little skeleton thing is for. I guess it's an Xbox thing that you place figures on and for for games. So that's why I don't know what it is because I don't have an Xbox. But it looked kind of cool. I thought it was something that like lit up like la, like you put a figurine on it, like a haunt figurine, like maybe something like this. Nah. And uh, I thought that it might like, you know, light it up kind of cool. Branson Haunted Hills. Yes, I did get that puzzle for Phoenix, but shh, I'm giving it to him for his birthday on Saturday. And, and I also have to say, I love the way that you guys are, are talking 
and commenting amongst yourselves. That is so cool. It's like, see, it's like one big freaking family. I love that. That is so cool. You guys make me so happy. Lisa A, I love deep thoughts with Troy. It doesn't happen very often. Uh, love your words of wisdom. Well said. Well, thank you. Crystal Sherman, I don't know if you saw Facebook, but I said that my cat Pepper passed away years ago in her sleep. I loved so much, and now I don't have any more pets. I see you like the GW Boutique. And, of course, it took me a second, and Matthew Rondell's like, what's GW Boutique? And I was the same way. It's like, what the hell? Oh, Goodwill. <laughs> so, Matthew Rondell, Goodwill is the uh, thrift store that we were at the other day. And, yes, we, we do like it. And um, I, I'm sorry about your cat. And, uh, gosh, I did take one last photo with Popcorn when she was not living. Um, I wasn't going to say anything, it's, it's, but she was so peaceful. And, and it was just my hand on her head. I was petting her. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it, it's something that I felt that I, I just wanted to hold on to. So it's something that I did. Not everybody might agree with that. Um, but, you know, it was, it was very, it was, it's calming to me. So I did it. Um, I'm not, I'm sorry, I'm not going to share it, but, you know, it, it's, it, it's mine. Oh, um, Pandemic270, uh, you say, it's been a long time since I've commented, but I'm deeply sorry about the loss of your wonderful dog. I know the pain of losing a pet is, I lost my calf 18 years. That's a long time. I'm sorry. Uh, back in January, we kept her collar along with that of another cat and dog we used to have and put them with a picture frame ornament with their picture and now they go up on our tree every every year. That's really cool. I like that. Um, you know, it's I was looking for this. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, it's right here. Um, this is something that I'm going to do in the springtime. I haven't bought it yet. It's only 15 bucks plus shipping, so I should be able to afford that between now and spring. Um, but you guys have heard me reference um, like Big Dan and Little Ann from the Red Where the Red Fern Grows. It's just a book that was written and it's about two hunting dogs and one passes away and then the other one soon passes away and they're buried and this red fern grows, kinda of like a symbol, you know, of of the dogs. Well this is something that I found. This is as close as you can really get to a red fern. It's called a uh, autumn fern, and it doesn't stay red. It does go to dark green, but the new fronds that that grow uh, appear in that red color. So that's kind of the, the the best thing. So I'm gonna plant that next spring on Popcorn's grave, and I'm probably gonna take the devil dog sign that Keith made years ago, and I'm probably gonna put that over there too, just as a little uh, memorial. Willow, the jingling collar got me. Yeah, it it gets me too. You know, it's amazing on, on how many vlogs you can actually hear it in the background. And, you know, because it happened all the time, you know, I just didn't realize it. Matthew Rondell, if I made a Christmas haunt outro, do you think another 20-odd other outros will ro roll through? Do you think it could be featured? Um, yeah, uh, let me show you something real quick, because you've asked before, and others might be interested in it. For each vlog, um, I import... Uh, an outro and this is basically the the list of outros that I have and what I'll do is I'll just like I'll start with like Adam's Haunted Manor and then I'll do the one with Travis and Bad Hat Harry I try to do them in order so you're not seeing one like that's like back to back and I think I'll still keep in popcorns um, for right now for a while obviously if it's Christmas one then I'm going to uh, use it during this holiday Emerald Gypsy Heart you guys mean so much to all of us Thank you. I mean, all of you guys mean a lot to us, too. Seriously. And you also made a suggestion of a Jack Skeleton cake. God, that would have been cool. I should have suggested that the other day. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Dark Legion 75. At first I thought, in quotes, Wow, you will never be able to keep that kid out of anything ever again after he starts playing with all that the the puzzle and the, basically you know all the locks and the latches and everything but he is so mind-blowingly smart he will quickly figure out any kind of latch anyway that you attempt to put between him and anything he wants to get to or get into um, yeah he's he's getting really smart and I'm so happy that he's got my my mechanical seeming that he has my mechanical aptitude I love that that is uh, that floors me so it's gonna be like Lincoln logs and I'm gonna find some capsella and 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 Legos and um, 
Oh, what was that other set? Uh, did you guys ever have no dirtiness intended? It was called Erector. It was a Erector set. It had nuts and bolts and uh, pieces of metal and like a motor. It was just so cool. I, I had that stuff when I was a kid. I love that stuff. Truth 27, Troy had suggested if the deer won't stay up, then that provides you an excellent opportunity to mess with people's heads. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I could do something haunty with the deer. Um, but for right now, he's up. And Steve Lewis sending my love to you guys. Um, love to you too. Love to everybody. Happy haunting, guys. We will see you tomorrow. Get some sleep. It's important. For some of us. Sometimes. Hold on. Oh my goodness. Oh my